Hi, let's get started with understanding Oranscape platform. But first, let's understand why Oranscape. Oranscape is a rule based fourth generation language development platform. It doesn't require any coding language. You can develop applications in Oranscape in a way similar to how you would write rules and formulas in Excel. Since you don't write code, you can develop applications faster. You don't need any development environment setup. Oranscape is a web based development environment. This development environment is on cloud. All you need is Firefox with Silverlight installed. The applications that you develop using Oranscape can be de deployed on different clouds like Google App Engine, IBM Cloud, or even onto your on premise servers. Oranscape Studio has five different perspectives for application development model, form, process, action, and queue designs. Let's see one by one. Model design. During the design of the application, we'll be doing data model where we'll be defining the entities of the application. Each entity in a data model uh, will be a model in Oranscape. This is the first perspective which you'll be seeing when you open a model. Here you'll be defining all the entity attributes and its relationship with other entities. Here you can write rule based business logics pertaining to that particular entity. Form design. The form design is a place where you will design the forms associated with the models. Here you will decide which fields or attributes to show and uh, to whom to show. I mean like uh, users or group level permissions. You can even give the permissions at field level. Process design. Process design is where we will be defining the workflow state transitions. You can design complex workflows with uh, branching and or logics. You can define which roles will act on what states and other work workflow related stuff. You can define simple straight flows or uh, flows with conditions or even parallel workflows where two different persons can act on same items. Action design. Action design is where we will be defining procedural definitions. B procedural definitions is nothing but a series of actions which you want to perform when you submit a form uh, other than just moving from one state to another. To do this uh, series of actions we have a certain uh, inbuilt commands which you can use to build your actions. Queues. Queues are nothing but list view of all the pending items which are waiting for the user's action. Um, here you will be listing all the uh, actions pending for the, for, for the user and uh, you can define paginations here. This is very similar to form design. Here you will be just giving out uh, little details. I, this is similar to inbox of your outlook. Okay, we'll try to do an application now, uh, and in this process, we can understand how to use Oranscape to develop applications. Let's consider a small um, problem statement. Let's say there is a company in which uh, salespeople are traveling to various places regarding company business, and uh, after the travel, they are submitting their uh, travel expenses, and the company uh, reimburses these travel claims according to their uh, policies. This is a sample workflow for the said problem statement. The employee submits his claim through the application. If the submitted claim amount is greater than 3000, then the application should forward the claim to the reporting manager for approval. Else it can be forwarded to finance department for payout. The manager can either approve or reject the claim. Once the reporting manager approves the claim, it goes to the finance department for payout. If he rejects the claim, it will be sent back to the employee for modifications. So this is the data model for employee travel claims. You have an employee master model to capture employee related details and you have a claim model which an employee claims and it has a claim details which is uh, 
uh, which gives you the multiplicity in the claim process and the claim detail refers to the mode of travel which is as per the company policy you will have the rate per kilometer defined here now let's see how to create these models in the Orangecape studio If you have created already an application, you just need to launch it. If you click on new, a model will get created. I have already created an employee master model. I am just trying to open it. So when a new model is created, there is no fields in it. As we all uh, already discussed, model design will contain the entity's uh, attributes and its business logic. So first let us define uh, this entity's attributes. So as we see in the data model, in the employee master model, we have employee ID, name, department designation and reporting to as parameters or attributes of this entity. So we'll just try to find these attributes in employee master. So these are the fields we need. It's whatever I have typed as of now, it's just the labels. In a model, there can be public fields as well as labels. So these are labels. If you want to create a public field, you can create it like this. Create public fields from selection and you want to fetch, meaning the public field names has to be selected from the or taken from the left side or top or bottom or from the right side. Now since I have designed or defined the labels in the left side I am choosing left column now if you see the color of the cell has been changed to blue color identifying that these cells are public cells and the names have been taken from the left hand side so if you can define check the name here so likewise I will define other attributes as well now if you go back and see the data model in these five attributes, employee ID is numeric and rest of all format is text. So how do you give about the data types is through format. By default, the format that you specify will be number. Now, if I want to change employee name format, you can actually type give text. Text is worker. Now, for example, If I just type IT here and then if I create a public field, it automatically detects with the sample data what could be the data type. Now if I go and see here, it would be automatically text. So when you create public fields, you can define some sample data with which the format can be achieved same way this is also can be text so if you type some see by default these are numeric since you have typed some text it says data type conflict you want to continue yes if you give yes it changed to text now after we defined attributes of a model that is entity you can save these changes uh, to the server so there are three ways to save basically one is save draft if you do save draft it saves as a draft in your local machine which is in the silverlight storage we use silverlight to store all our uh, local storage and it has the uh, uh, orange cape rule engine running and we'll see how that works meaning 
test when you develop concept uh, later on and there is a save and tag which does a versioning and saves meaning it takes a version of the previous one and then saves your current uh, development changes to the server and if you want to save without tagging meaning without versioning you can use save in server concept I do a save and tag now model 